Today is Friday. Now here in Myrtle Beach again. Look where they got me parked at. Parked in the street. They only take one truck at a time, so that guy came out and told me I had to sit here. It's a little side street, ain't too much traffic. It's the only only reason why you could probably even do this. Yeah. Friday. Drop this load off, see if they got another load for me. I head back to Wilmington. Guess while I'm sitting here waiting. Go ahead and get these straps off. Only got one key. I need to get another one. But I haven't figured out where to get it cut at. Cause Walmart won't do it. They told me to go to a hardware store. This is one of them old fashioned hardware stores that actually cuts them, like cuts them by hand. It doesn't use a computer. Can y'all see this trailer? It's brand new. Aluminum. Brand new trailer. It ain't hard getting. Yeah, these things turn real easy. They ain't like brand new straps too. Brand new straps, brand new, brand new trailer. Shout out my boy Eric up in Ohio getting his CDLs right now. He said I forgot to shout him out on the last video where I shouted out everybody else. Shout out my boy Eric. Shout out Chris the Trucker. He said he's gonna hold it down and melt since I'm gone. I tell y'all what though, man. My boy Jimmy over at BTC who ain't never impressed about nothing. I salute him for that though. He told me the other day, he said, man, you gonna get tired of that dedicated route doing the same shit every day. It's only my first week doing it, but that's what he told me. And to tell you, to tell you what though, I do kind of miss, I do kind of miss the over the road life. I do miss it a little bit. Dealing with the truck stops, dealing with the shippers, the shipper and receivers, I miss, I miss that. So I don't know, man. Y'all don't be surprised if I do end up going back over the road. Cause we're gonna see how this is gonna work out right here. Cause this, it's about nine o'clock in the morning right now. It's about nine o'clock right now. 
As soon as I got here and sent my, um, arrived at ship load, load for Charlotte that delivers on Monday. It's nine o'clock in the morning right now. So that's pretty much telling me that my day is finished. Once I go back and hook up to that Charlotte load, I'm done for the day. I, I can't, I don't know about that. And I already called the dispatcher. I was like, look, man, that load don't deliver till Monday. I got like nine hours of drive time right now. I forgot to take that one off. Damn, how I forget that one? I got like nine hours of drive time right now on my clock. Ain't, ain't no way I'm, I'm gonna be done already for the rest of the day. So I called dispatch and I asked him if he could find another load for me. Cause I'm, I'm not down with that. I came over here to make money. I, I believe, I can't, I, yeah, I'm gonna make money. Ugh, taking these straps off in the middle of the street. So I, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it where I can try to do like three loads a day. Not, not one or two, I wanna do like three loads a day. I'm pretty good with managing my clock. So, you know, I have the hours for it. They just gotta give me the loads. But this is only my first week. Y'all see that? I gotta get a damn uh, strap roller. The one I got ain't gonna work on this. I need the one that's made for this. They ain't loading that other truck now. So by the by the time I finish, by the time I finish this, they should be ready. How that sky look on the GoPro? Y'all let me know. Oh yeah, shout out my buddy Shaq. Over there at Swift. He told me to tell y'all. If anybody wants to come wants to come to Swift, hit him up. That's what he told me. I'm gonna leave his email address in the description box. If anybody wants to go to Swift. This motherfucker Shaq. He 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 went to Swift. No, he went to CR England. Then he went to Swift. Then he no, he went to CR England. Yeah, then he went to Swift. He got his license at CR England. Then he went to Swift. Then he tried out US Express. Let me get out this goddamn road. Let me get right inside here. Right here. That Newport box been there since I first got this truck and I ain't took it out yet. Let me hide right here. So these cars go by. One more. Yeah, I'm about done on this side anyway. Let me get this one last strap rolled up. But anyway, fuck with your boy. I know how y'all, hey, shout out all my new subscribers, man. I got a lot of new subscribers in the past couple days. I went from like 300 to like almost 500. So yeah, man, shout out to my new subscribers. Hey man, don't, don't be scared to leave some comments and introduce yourselves. Some people do, but a lot of y'all subscribe, subscribers, you know, I don't know who you are, you know. So I do talk to almost everybody. I have a lot of free time. <laughs> I don't got no kids or nothing. So hell, I sit in the goddamn truck and, and run loads. What's up, man? How you doing? Can't get by? Nah, I, yeah, I'm lost, man. I'm trying to find a Big Pond Road with old, uh, uh rental. Big Pond Road? Big Pond Road. With, uh, I could pull come, it up. I could pull it back, up. Come back, Reynolds. My phone ain't worth shit. I done dropped it. It's only about 1,500 times. What's, do you know the name of the place you're delivering to? Come back, Reynolds. 
Comeback rental? Yeah. Comeback rental. There it go. 16 miles away. Bring it out. Let's, let's, let's pull it up real quick. Directions. Comeback rentals. Are we here. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, let's look this way. Head north on Industrial Drive, Piedmont Avenue, toward Waterside Drive. So you gotta get back out there on the road. You gotta go back out on the road. Mm -hmm. You see how it is? 643. Yeah. You gotta go back that way. Make a loop and go back and head back on 501. Right. Yeah, you gotta go over that river. See that river right yeah. there? Mm -hmm. So basically you gotta go back out that way. What? Yeah, there's no left turn, make a right. Right. Go down there. All right. Yeah, that should be right down the road. Yeah, right down on the left, man. Yeah. Should be, that's what I keep saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man, I appreciate you. All right, man, no problem. We're a good place to turn around here. Yeah, it's kind of tight up in here. Oh man. I was talking to my other buddy, my truckers keeper. Check him out on YouTube. He's over there at US Express. I was just talking to him this morning. And I said, yeah, man, this dedicated route. I really don't got no action to show nobody, man. It's like I got fucking nothing. I don't got I don't got nothing to show people. He was like, man, you gotta you gotta think of some ways to find some content. So like just now, that truck driver just came up. I thought he was about to cuss me out. I was like, damn, I'm in his way. He about to cuss, he about to cuss my ass out. But yeah, he lost. I don't know how he gonna turn around. He figured out, Looks like he been driving for a while. But he's, I think he said his navigation went out. But anyway, I'm gonna finish this up. Then uh, I'll check back in with y'all a little later. Maybe when I'm sitting on the yard, uh, back in Wilmington. Look like that other driver empty right now. Almost time for me to get up in there. Let me show y'all this brand new trailer. Look how shiny this motherfucker is. Shiny as hell. Look at that. No parking. That other driver that I just, that I just helped out. When he, when he turned around, there he, he's still, yeah, he's sitting up there. Yeah, that's, he's a Western Express driver. Look at that trailer. See the sun shining off of it? Look like they polished it. Yeah, that other driver coming out. It's about time for me to go in. As soon as this guy comes and get me, I'll pull in. They got something else sitting in the in the driveway now. Yeah, he gotta move that motherfucker. I think he about to move it, and I go ahead and pull in. How in the hell one of them gonna pull up? Then the other one pull up right behind him. Fuck. Now both of these motherfuckers about to get loaded. And I'm supposed to be next in line. Damn. What up, gang? Looks like I got fucked. What I mean by that, when I first got here, there was a flatbed in there. And the guy told me to park right here. When he got finished getting the loader, I was gonna be next in line. But now, we got some of these damn company trucks. Not even 18 wheelers, like little Class B trucks, I guess is what it is. It's three of them. It was two, now it's three. And I just talked to the guy. I was like, yo, do I gotta wait for all of them to get loaded before I get loaded? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. It was like, the company trucks gotta get loaded first. So I was like, man, what the fuck? So I'm sitting here eating some Pringles and drinking some coffee. One pulling out now. Hey, what I was saying a little bit earlier, I think I had got cut off about this dedicated route and not getting enough loads. I've been doing like two loads a day. 
my third load, I, I, I usually get it in the evening time, but it delivers the next morning. So, I don't know, man. We're going to have to see if it picks up. This is only my first week. So, I mean, it's it's going to have to, I mean, I'm not going to make any money doing two loads a day. And like yesterday, I had two loads. Yesterday, I did three loads. But the first one was from the day before. But they wouldn't have loaded at 6.30 in the morning. So, I had to stay down there overnight. So, that load really counted for the day before. So, I did two loads yesterday. One delivered like 11 miles away. Then another one delivered like five miles away. Now, if I would have got both of those loads back to back, then, you know, I could have been, with me getting the first load like around 9 o'clock that morning, and then the other load, I was supposed to have it by like 12, but it, it wasn't ready till like 2.30. So if I would have got both of those loads on time, I could have had both of those loads delivered before 1 o'clock, and then, you know, got another load and dropped that off somewhere. So I'm trying to do like three loads a day. If that's what's going to make the money, I want to do like three, maybe four if I can get it. If they're little short runs and stuff. But yeah, today I got the one load that I'm dropping right now. And my next load is not delivering until Monday. So that means I got Saturday and Sunday with nothing to do. And yeah, I, I don't, I don't, coming from the, from me wanting to make money, that don't seem like it's going to make any money. But I'm just going to see how this shit goes, man, you know. They say the flatbed shit gets better in the summer. I'm gonna see, this is my first week, so I'm not I'm not basing my opinion off this first week. I'm just telling y'all what's going on right now. But uh, I've already called the dispatch. I'm like, look, y'all have anything else, man? Because I still got like almost a whole day left. And uh, what time is it? 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. There's no way that this could be my last load for the day. Other load don't deliver to to Monday morning. So what I would do is I get the load Sunday. I, I'm going to hook up to it today. If that's what my load is, I'm going to go ahead and hook up to it today. And then Sunday night, I head to Charlotte and just stay overnight. So that's that's my plan. But hopefully when I leave here and start heading back to Wilmington and I get a time frame what time I'm going to be there, I'm going to call and be like, hey, yo, did you get anything else? And if, hey, if they don't got one, I need, I need to do some laundry. Uh... I want to go watch a movie. I want to go to the movies and see, um, what's that movie called? Um, Captain Marvel. I want to see that movie. Because last night I saw the commercial for uh, the new Avengers. I keep up with all those movies too, man. I love watching them. I love action movies. So yeah, I go ahead and um, see that movie today. Do some laundry. Well, they got, yeah, he said the one in the front was going to take longer. The one in the back, it's almost done. So I, I guess I will. Nah, it's got a little, another little pickup truck right there. So I should be coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. I know it's probably about 15 minutes long. Over the road or dedicated? Which one? I like over the road. Dedicated's cool. If you know you're gonna be making some good money. Over the road, Melton was cool, but it's Melton, you have a hard time getting home. I'd rather run regional where I'm running in a certain area. That's what I thought I was gonna be doing when I came here. Not on this dedicated account. I didn't apply for dedicated. I applied for like regional. I wanted like every two weeks, but I ended up being put on this damn dedicated. But we're going to see. I'm going to hold out. I don't want to be one of them guys that, that go from company to company, but I got to make money, man. And I'm telling y'all, if I'm only doing two loads a day, I ain't going to make no money like that. Five days a week, I ain't going to make no money. But one thing y'all know about me, y'all know, you know, I always stay humble no matter what. I roll with the punches. That's pretty much what I'm going to do here. 
Hell, it's only my first week. Hell, next hey, <laughs> hey, this shit might. They might hit me with some shit where I can't even keep up with the goddamn lows. I'd be like, damn, five lows? Man, I wish I had two lows. Hey, that, <clears throat> that day might come. This is just the first week. So, that's really what I'm telling y'all. So far, this is my first week. Let's hope for the best. But prepare for the worst. All my loyal subscribers. Y'all remember the video where I was in my trainer's truck and I was holding the coffee mug up like this? Y'all remember that video? It's the same coffee mug. One of my favorite videos out of all the videos I made. White White World, part one. It's called Flatbed Gang, the movement presents White World. That's one of my favorite videos, man. I drove through uh, Wyoming and Utah on I-80 in a blizzard. Like a 2,500 mile run. I, I didn't give up. Went all the way, went all the way. I was, I was going to Washington. I went all the way there, 2,500 miles. Then I had a 1,500 mile coming back out through uh, picking up a load in Idaho and coming back up on uh, I-90, taking that. I came out on 90, got back on 80. I took it to Iowa. But on that paycheck, I had like... Um, I had like 4,200 miles on that paycheck. Flatbed Game the Movement presents White uh, White World. I'm, I'm going to put that one. I'm, I'm putting that one in the first comment. I'm going to pin it. I want y'all to watch that one. That's one of my favorite videos. Just looking at the snow and the mountains and all that. Man, you, it was crazy, man. I could hardly fucking see out there at some points in time, but I still made it. What made me think about it, my boy Shaq, he told me the other day, he was like, I went through Devil's Slide. Things out there in Utah, that Devil's Slide, you, you see it when you go through there on 84. Yeah, Devil's Slide, what else they got out there? The Sisters, Elk Mountain, some, some crazy, Rattlesnake Pass, crazy ass mountain names out there, and that shit was bad. <laughs> Y'all ain't never drove in the mountains. And I had never drove in the mountains other than West Virginia. But I went out there and went out there as a rookie. I made it through. I made I made four White World videos. But that was my favorite one. Flatback game. I'm out.